One of the most exciting things is just the sheer volume of artifacts. In nearly two million artifacts, there are huge, really interesting artifacts such as the hull, um, a lot of really neat things like the cannons, but really the most, to me, exciting material are um, the trade goods and the many regular goods brought by people for the colony itself. When we talk about numbers um, with trade beads, um, which generally white and blue and black, there's over 800,000 of them in the collection, which makes this one of the largest collections in the world. It's the same with the straight pens, which most people don't think are very exciting, but in fact, uh, with 17,000 of them, it makes it one of the largest collections we have and provides a lot of information on manufacturing and use that otherwise we wouldn't know. A remarkable aspect of the artifact collection from LaBelle is not only the well-preserved trade goods, but was also this unique assortment of military supplies. One of LaSalle's objectives in coming to the New World was to set the stage for a later military expedition to travel to northern New Spain to try to secure Spanish silver mines, to take those from the Spanish to secure that wealth for the French crown. One of the more difficult things as the collections manager is handling nearly two million artifacts. Um, it requires a lot of careful database work and tracking to make sure that we don't lose any of these. And you put on top of that the need to conserve these artifacts. These things came out of the ocean. They look beautiful, but it's not because they came out that way, but because of a long, concerted effort to make sure they're stable and available for people to see and researchers to study. So all the wonderful artifacts we have found on LaBelle have all had to go through different treatments to be preserved. That work has been done at Texas A&M University's Conservation Research Laboratory. And here we are 18 years after the beginning of that conservation, 20 years after the discovery, and we're putting the artifacts in the Bullock Texas State History Museum as part of a world-class exhibit talking about the artifacts, the archaeology, and how our ship LaBelle changed history.